so it's time to set sail yet again and see what the eastern ruins holds in store for us. And before we can even make our way into the ruins, the place already seems to just permeate a overall foreboding feeling. Still, before we head into the ruins proper, we should see what this ghost here is in need of. What the? つまんがちょっと頼まれては So it appears that a dangerous monster is lurking around inside the research facility here. And while it seems like the ghost might have given us a fairly trivial task to fulfill, it's actually going to be the first thing we're going to want to do as we make our way through the ruins here. So let's go ahead and press on forward and see what this monster is all about. Now, while we do want to keep an eye out for any dangerous monsters lurking about, that shouldn't stop us from taking in any of these sites of the ruins themselves, such as this very imposing set of stone archways here. Now, it looks like there is plenty of darkness off to the side where a monster could easily jump us. But aside from the stone archway, we do see the first indication of the modern excavation here, headed by what I think is the CNR research firm. We saw them mentioned on a note on the boathouse. And it almost seems like Someone from their firm might still be very hard at work. That definitely does sound like something's pounding away behind the divider here. Though before we enter, we should probably take heed of this do not enter sign. Yeah, it seems they had a little bit of a cave in here. Though that probably blocks us from getting into the ruins themselves, we can still look around a little bit. Though it doesn't seem like that pounding we're hearing is coming from the outside at all. Maybe it's coming from behind this metal door here in the ground. Still, for now, we should should leave sleeping dogs lie. Maybe just go ahead and head on into the research facility itself. Though, well, before we head in, pretty strange large barrel here. I guess if we ever are in need of uh, a lot of oil, we, we know just where to go. 
Still, we need to go ahead and press inside. We do have a fishing rod that we need to find. Along with another strange noise to investigate, but first things first. Yeah, there are not going to be any lights on just yet, but... Well, the distribution board is right here, so hopefully the key is waiting inside. Or it seems like we are going to be in some pretty dire straits here. Don't get the feeling there's going to be another distribution board anywhere in the facility, and... Well, I think that lights would probably help in fighting a monster. Still, might as well go ahead and start checking out what some of the rooms have to offer. Got an office here. Don't think a fishing rod would be in an office. Research room. Still, still not a place I'd put a fishing rod. Still, we are getting closer to that noise. <laughs> and we'll get to that soon enough. As you can imagine, we will need to find some means to combat a ghost as we make our way through the facility here. And that is part of the reason why it's so important to make sure to find this fishing rod as soon as possible. And along with that fishing rod is another key item that we need to make sure and pick up. John's lab coat. You might be wondering why it specifies a person with that lab coat. And we'll be finding out soon enough, but... I don't really want to linger in too many dark rooms for now. Just because that ghost is fairly dangerous to deal with, so... Even though there is one other thing to get in here, let's go ahead and head back to the wharf. Yeah, it's pretty easy to think that well, this is a very unimportant task, but is extremely pivotal to get out of the way as soon as possible. And while he cheerfully fishes the night away, we can finally get into the door he was guarding to get well, the item we were looking for. It seems like there is a lot of bric-a-brac hiding away inside the fisherman's shack here. There is really only one item that is what we came to look for. And it's right here on the chair, in the form of an oil lamp. ghost we saw in the research facility has followed us here. It's just now we do have a means of defending ourselves. All we have to do is go ahead and equip our newly found oil lamp. And we now have a portable means of dealing with any ghosts we might run into in the future with one small caveat. 
And that is, if we go ahead and look at the oil lamp itself, you see in its description that it only has a limited oil reserve. Which means we can only use it for a very limited amount of time. Though I think we have a way to get around that. Though before we leave, we do want to go ahead and pick up this set of dried herbs here. So, with our newfound light source in hand, let's go ahead and refill that with that oil tank that we saw by the research facility. I suppose this is a nice new mechanic for the game. Adds a little bit of tension since you're introduced to an area with no available light source. And even once you do manage to find one, it only has a very limited time usage. So let's go ahead and pull the lever here and refill our oil lamp. So not only now do we have a means of defending ourselves from that very nasty new ghost, but we can start investigating and figuring out the puzzles that lay in wait in the research facility itself. Now while it might be a reasonable idea to just start taking the doors in order, I do want to figure out what that weird noise is here at the end of the hallway. And it's our first researcher here. And it's a bit hard to tell initially, but it seems like he is impatiently waiting for something. Ah, so he's waiting to escort his boss home. Guess that explains his fidgeting. But while he waits, we can maybe take a look in some of these lockers here. I'm sure one of them has to hold something for us. Oi! Nanda omaiwa! ここの this introduces the first problem that we have to deal with before fully exploring the facility. But we just so happened to have previously picked up a possibly good disguise. Let's see how well it works. よ、ジョン。フランコのことは踏ん切りがついたか。まあ、仕方なかった。誰も悪くないさ。だからもう遺跡を見に行くのは良せ。ところで、イレーナはまだ事務室にいるのか。たまにはあいつも早く帰れば
And while we were pressed on going back to the office there to meet this Elena, I think I want to go ahead and explore these two rooms first. Now, for the most part, we already have the items we need from the sleeping quarters, but there is a helpful clue here on this poster. And while it may not initially make sense to us, it reveals that sometimes people are put on laundry duty, and this week it is Ken who is having to deal with all the dirty laundry of the facility. And that will be coming in useful very shortly. And since we're already down here, we'll go ahead and look inside this final room at the end. find ourselves in a very large, large conference room. Along with a ghost that is seemingly setting up his own little presentation. Ah, Jonka. Franco no koto wa mou wasureru nda. Are wa jiko datta. お前に責任はない。ところで、所長を見かけなかったか。もし見かけたら、私が待っていたと伝えておいてくれ。So along with another mention of this misfortune that befell Franco, we also are pressed yet again to head to the office, though there is another lab coat for us to grab. It seems though that we might need another disguise to grab this particular lab coat. Maybe if we lead in with the pretext that we're here to just pick up some laundry as Ken, that might work out a little bit better. Ah. そういえば今週の清掃当番はお前だったな。きちんと洗濯してくれ。そのペンは。湖西岸の塔で見つけた。確か所長のものだ。一体所長はどうなされたのか。事務室にいるイレーナさんには見せない方がいいだろう。あの子は姉思いだからな。いらぬ心配はさせない方がいい。もっとも。お前がイレーナさんにそんなことをするとは思えんがな。そうだ。今度の学会で使うスライドを見ておけ。所長が戻られたら一緒に見てもらうつもりだったんだが、私のまとめた研究レポートだ。
So it appears our destiny with the red stone has not yet come to an end. And somewhere on this Clancy estate is that cursed stone that drove William Rockwell and his family to its bitter end. For now, though, don't get the feeling that we're going to be running across that stone anywhere in the facility, but maybe we can get some more information on it by talking to the chief and well, maybe poking around in the research room here. Now, while there are a few artifacts that they have dug up from the nearby ruins, nothing is really going to be of use to us here. Even though there is a knife, it's not the red stone sacrificial dagger that we had so many problems with previously. Instead, what is of immediate interest to me is what I can only assume to be something pretty important locked away in the safe here. We don't have the combination just yet, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out soon enough. Even more than that, there is one final item we can get in here, located in this bottom drawer. And while its usage may not be immediately apparent, we will be needing it fairly shortly to finish up a pretty long puzzle. For now, though, we have done all we can in the research room. And as we are pressed for time with the lamp slowly running out, let's go ahead and explore the final room here and check out the boss in the office. So it is now time to put our lab coat collection to good use. See if we can't convince Ileana here that the workday has finally come to an end. Ah, Ken. Otsukaresama deshita. Kyou mo ichiban ne. Ashita wa Mizumi nishigawa no tou de chousa ne. Sabotchu dame yo. Now you do want to start off this puzzle by wearing Ken's lab coat. As we've already seen, he's the most impatient and would probably want to be leaving work first. Next... I think we want to go ahead and wear John's lab coat. As we already saw, Michael is a fairly hard worker himself and probably would leave last. Ara, John san, okaeri desu ka? Kashidashite ita Lupe wa dou narimashita? Though it appears that John has one small little hurdle to get over himself, we just managed to already happen to have that glass. Ah, Kashidashite ta Lupe desu ne. Tashikani. Kyou mo osoku made o tsukare sama deshita. Michael-san is still alive, right? 
私も頑張らなくちゃ Now, while we did go ahead and have already picked up Michael's lab coat, I still feel like we're missing out on one person's lab coat to finish off this puzzle. あとは、姉さんさえ戻ってくれば。ないわね。あのペンどこに行ったのかしら。アルバート様に呼び出されてるのに。もっと大切にしてよ。父さんの形見でしょでも今日は父さんの夢だってあの聖杯が手に入るのよ。それくらい許してくれるわ。そういう問題じゃないんじゃないもう時間ね。また後で探すわ。研究所に戻るのは夜になるでしょう。それまでよろしくね。はい、姉さん。こら、いれえな。研究所では所長って呼びなさい。はーい、所長。あと、その白衣は捨てちゃってちょうだい。ずいぶん傷んでしまったわ。So we are transported back in time to a very, very coincidental instance. We can just so happen to get our hands on the chief's lab coat. And we just so happen to already have on hand something we can use to distract her sister here so that we can snatch it up. While we could give her some warning about her sister's forthcoming disappearance, I don't think that would really help her in this situation, so let's just get what we came for and head on back into the present. So all of our hard work has finally paid off, and we've allowed Elena a chance to rest after. Very, very long, hard day. Before we leave her office, though, there is one final item we want to make sure and get out of the desk here. I think it is located in one of these drawers.
And it is a key to the safe that's in the research room. Along with what appeared to be a combination of letters and numbers that I think should be helpful to us in opening up the safe. Still, though, from all the talks we've had with people, we've learned that there was a pretty horrible accident that happened with a young man named Franco, and that the chief here ended up disappearing when she went to go visit some western tower. So I'm assuming we are definitely going to want to investigate those spots, but first, let's go ahead and open up the safe to see what goodies are laying in wait for us here. And while our prize might not initially seem that amazing, this ancient code document is pretty much necessary to figure out some of the puzzles coming up in the game. Now if we go ahead and take a quick look at the document itself, we'll see that it's also pretty underwhelming, you know, initially to read. Being at four pages long, you can't really assume that it will hold everything to decipher a language. It's just that one sentence there pretty much means that we'll be able to decipher any of the ancient texts that we might come across well, pretty much immediately. So that will be good to have in our pocket for future usage. And since we are pretending to be the chief for right now, I guess that gives us pretty much ample authority to let some of these other guys off the hook and send them home for the, I guess, rest of their afterlives. I'm sure Ken is especially ecstatic to finally be heading home. All that really leaves her now is Michael here in the projection room. The thing is, we did manage to pick up three or yeah, three lab coats over the course of our journey through the research facility. We've seen Ken and Michael, but we've really seen neither hide nor hair of John. It does remind me, though, that we were hearing some rather strange sounds coming from the door to the excavation site. Maybe it might be worth taking a quick peek out there to see if maybe we missed something. And already, we can see that well, with our newfound light, we and did indeed miss something. I get a strong feeling that this is probably John the Researcher. Oh, 
この下にこの下に何かを And we are brought down into the cavernous ruins to maybe try to find out just what John left down behind here. And while most of the flashbacks are pretty concise and to the point, this one is a little bit different and possibly for the worst. It's mostly a very repetitive trek through a very boring cavern, and all you have really have to do to navigate your way around is to follow the arrows on the ground. It's pretty simplistic and it's all in all very boring. So I'm going to end up cutting out most of it because it, it honestly does stretch on for about four minutes. So, well, just imagine a lot more of this and not a lot else. フランコが逃げ遅れて俺が生き残った俺はあいつを助けられなかった俺だけが Now while we did manage to narrowly avoid a very sudden death down in the caves we aren't finished just yet By speaking to John a second time, we are immediately teleported to that room where we, we ended up almost dying previously, and where we can pick up a brand new item. This human shaped relief here. A very large glass heart shaped earth stone. Now, as to what that is for, we will find out later. Though there is a plate over here that's written in the old language. And since we did manage to pick up that document before, we are now able to read and decipher what appears to be a very color heavy clue. We'll need to keep all of this in mind for later, though it is. Well, it's going to be a lot to keep track of. So, see here what I assume to be Franco.
リリーフの文字が読めないなんて解読書もあれがあれば<音声>なああの扉の奥には何があるんだろう And while we can't help Franco right now, I get a strong feeling that if we can figure out the puzzle regarding this relief, maybe we can give him some relief as well. For now, though, let's go ahead and get back to the present. And even though. We can't really fulfill John's final wish just yet. We do have a brand new location we can visit. And for now, that's where we are going to be heading. Though I feel well, we've done quite enough for right now. That next location is going to have to wait for our next video. So hopefully, you will join me then as we head over and see what lies in store for us at the Western Tower.